Garage 419 is brought to you by Death Race, starring Jason Statham in theaters August 22nd. I have never been a big fan of the iPhone. I'll just put that out there now. Gene, who's walking away from me right now, happens to love his iPhone. Fortunately, there may be a reason yet for me to buy this thing. And I haven't found it yet, but there might be one now. There's a bit of software called a Dynalicious for this. It's 13 bucks, okay? And it uses your iPhone's internal accelerometer to measure zero to 60, quarter mile times, braking, handling, and even horsepower if you plug in the car's weight. Now yesterday, we put Gene's car on the dyno up at AutoMaster. We got Rob here, he's gonna help us dyno Gene's Mini so we can get an actual horsepower figure. And then we're gonna compare that to the Dynalicious iPhone software. Have you, have you used the accelerometer based? Uh, dyno before? Yes, I've used the G-Tech model. Yeah, I haven't used that one yet. Do you like it? No. It's weak? It's real weak. Why? How, how inaccurate did you find it? Extremely inaccurate. Really? I took a car that made 250 horsepower, took it on the road, it was telling me the car was going anywhere from 11, 8 to 12 off. That's not really possible. No. Not unless it's like a little CRX that's gutted. Exactly. Now, a car weighed about 36, 3700 pounds. Okay. So, let's strap it on the dyno, let's find out what it really makes, and then we'll go to the track. Gene's car with the cold air intake, otherwise stock, made 165 on the wheels. It's actually pretty good. It runs nice. So, I was impressed. So now we go to the track. Now we got to test out the iPhone as well as the, uh, the G-Tech. See you around. You're familiar with the death race. The drivers are convicts and the rules are simple. It's kill or be killed. I can see the appeal. Win and get your freedom. Let's play a little offense. <laughs> You're out in front. Who are you going to shoot at? Hold tight. I love this game. I want to watch you. you can burn me, you can shoot me, but you can't kill me. Rated it off starts August 22nd. Today we're at English Town. We got a real track and real timers, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to compare the results from this to the results from the time slips. Additionally, I've got the G-Tech Pro, which is the previous standard for home timing, and we're going to show you those results as well. Let's hit the track. I've learned a couple of things today, and we're going to share our results with you right now. The first thing I've learned about the G-Tech, and I have actually, I, I had this and I've never used it before, before today. This thing is a gigantic pain in the ass. It fell off our window a couple times. You have to recalibrate it every new car you put it in. It's, I did my burnout and it thought I was doing a run and it like reset itself on the line. I mean, we did a, a few runs. We got pretty similar results across the board, which we're about to share with you. But uh, I'm sorry, this thing is freaking annoying. It's really, really annoying and it's a giant pain in the ass. I don't particularly like it, okay? So what do we have? All right. So, all right, so we did a, we did a few runs. They're all reasonably similar, okay? Yeah. So what do you got for, first of all, English Town time slip? The actual run was 15.6 at 91.2 miles an hour. Okay, 15.6 at 91 is the real time. All right. iPhone. iPhone time, 15.6 at 91 miles an hour. It's a couple of hundredths off. Yeah. Which, and this is not tied to the car in any way. This could yeah. work in any car. So. It's, it's not, to the hundredth. Not to mention the horsepower on this one, 170 at the wheels, 
you know, four and a half, four off and a half horsepower dyno. off the actual. That's pretty good. That's the same variation from a Mustang Dyno to a Dyno Jet, anyway. Easy, yeah. if not more. Exactly. So for for portable horsepower. All right, now what did the G Tech read? The G Tech read 15.1 and 92 miles an hour, which so is more than half a second off. Half a second too fast, and one set eight tenths of a mile an hour too fast. Yep. Okay, so for 150 bucks for a G Tech. You get a time get that a is. <laughs> okay, you get that. Okay, and what happens if someone calls you when you're staging at the track? We learned that earlier when JF called Gene. But okay, but what you get is a phone that does all the phone things, the internet, and a $13 program that is more accurate than this $150 piece of crap, which uh, I will be giving away at the Garage 419 Invitational because we can prove that it doesn't work, um, or it does work, but not much. So. You know what? Huh. Hey, it works, right? You going iPhone now? Am I going iPhone? No, but I will get the iPod. You can get it for the iPod too, right? The iPod Wi-Fi? I will get an iPod Wi-Fi and iPod. I will have that. Yeah, go for it. Other benefits? Someone says, oh, my car runs 12s. Oh yeah? I have a dyno. Let's go. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's great. It's way there the, you have it's it. It's way the future. Way Sorry, the future. G-Tech, you had your days. Sorry, G-Tech, you are outdated and, uh, $13 iPhone program. All right, let's see if this thing does top speed. <laughs> so you, some of you may remember the topic we did on drag racing where Mr. Alex Roy said, you either win or you die. Well, that may not be entirely true for drag racing, but on August 22nd, Jason Statham's going to show us it is true in Death Race. You really do either win or you die, which is kind of awesome.